What's going on everyone? I got a brand new Blu-ray review for you guys today and today I'm gonna be discussing Venom. Now this is the 4k Blu-ray steelbook from Best Buy. It looks beautiful. Look from the back. Look to the front. Look inside. Well, it's kind of just blue and that's kind of stupid, but I still love the title of it. I love how Venom is spelt out through his gums. It looks beautiful. It looks gross. It's Venom. Now if you guys have been following me for a little bit, you guys do know that I enjoyed Venom. I thought it was a fun guilty pleasure type of movie. Is it the best film in the world? No. But I, after rewatching this film again, and I've seen this film like four times after I saw it initially, I've come to the conclusion that Venom is a good movie. Is it great? No. But it is a good movie. And I think people just didn't get what they were going for. The trailers kind of marketed something that was a little bit darker, and some of the earlier stuff kind of marketed, again, to that darker aspect. But this film is directed by Ruben Fleischer, the guy who has done 30 minutes or less. Zombieland. And even though some of those films do have some dark stuff to it, overall those are comedies. And they're more fun than dark. And what is Venom? Venom is this weird romantically comedy, or romance, comedy, rom-com, whatever you want to call it, action buddy comedy that just happens to be with Venom. And, like, the iteration of Venom they do in here is very much the iteration of Venom from some of the early 80s comic book stuff. And, yeah, he's big. He looks like the character. He looks like the character that Todd McFarlane wants. And, again, he fits some of those personas of who Venom was in the comics. Yeah, he's not that dark, sinister version that we do get in some of the later versions and some of the newer versions. But it's a Venom that I enjoyed. And I think a lot of the, film, the reason this film works is because of Tom Hardy and Venom. They're great. Their chemistry, they're one another. Tom Hardy makes it work. Yeah, Michelle Williams is wasted. Yeah, Riz Ahmed is wasted. And they're fine in the film. They're fine. Every other actor in here is fine. But Venom is seriously, they're the main crux of the film. The action sequences are fun. They're badass. They're thrilling. And again, I get it. People, there are going to be people who do not like this film. But when it comes down to buying it on 4K, I have to say yes. I have to say that this film has grown on me to a more of a level of, I think initially I'd given it a C plus. I would easily bump this film up to a B. I think it's fun. It's a good film. Yeah, there's issues with it. Yeah, there's some plot holes that I think they could have touched up more. And I think the film could have even been longer and probably probably gotten more of an advantage if it would have been longer. I think some of the lines and some of the scenes got cut too short. And it's a fun film. Is Venom worth buying on Blu-ray? Yeah, is it worth buying on 4K? Absolutely, it's a gorgeous looking film. The CGI looks a bit touched up on Venom and the action scenes even look better. It has a great score, visually it's appealing. Yeah, is it one of the best films in the world? No, but it's nice to get a Marvel film that's not tied into any big universe yet, but it's not tied into this. It's not planning, oh, we're gonna have four Morbius films, we gotta have three little films. No, it's tying up Venom, and it does open up for a sequel down the road with the end credits scene, which is amazing, and it just opens up that door. But the whole film isn't worried about structuring something new, it's opening up to just have fun. And it's nice to get one of these kind of revisits. I think if you didn't like Venom initially, do give a rewatch. You know what you're going to get this time. It's a f offbeat rom-com action comedy that's just weird, but works. And it's fun, it's funny, and it's just overall a blast to watch. There's a nice couple nice deleted scenes in here too, and overall some of the gag reels and some of the other things that are found on the 4K are, are worth watching. I, I'm not usually into those, but they're worth it, and I want a Venom too. That's the truth. That's my revisiting review. Is it worth buying? Absolutely yes, and I would easily give Venom now a B. So if you guys are new here though, make sure to tell me what your guys' thoughts are on Venom's 4K. Are you going to be picking it up? Are you not? Plus, are you new here? Hit that like and subscribe button. Then go hit up Sandwich on Films also down below. If you guys want to get into movie news, movie reviews, and even check out some early movies like Escape Room, that's coming up soon, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching this, and until next time, stay classy.